this is a great example of how much snow we have this year and we don't want to walk through it. The bison actually don't want to walk through it. It's awesome. We gotta go. Are you ready? Literally the journey has just started. This is the easy part. So I'm so excited about this time of year. This is a new hunting season and it always starts off with bison. We haven't hunted for four months, been a long cold winter in the Yukon. We've had this major cold snap and also we've had more snow this year than we've had in 60 years, they're saying. So these bison haven't even been in the Yukon that long. So this is the most snow that they'll have ever seen and as well myself. That's really going to be the challenge. I know we've got some hard miles ahead of us and we're just gonna work hard and we're gonna see what we can do right up to the end of the season. This is a great example of how much snow we have this year. And like, we don't wanna walk through it. The bison actually don't wanna walk through it. They wanna find themselves a place where they can you know, spend really weeks and as long as they can find food. But in this, down in these valleys, you know, they have to nose their way down to grass. So it's a lot of work. It's definitely been a challenge for locating bison, let alone, you know, getting to them. Just a different year. It's great just to be driving in, you know, the remote places that we do and just come across a beaver lodge. Now this one isn't being used anymore. The amount of effort that it would take to block this drainage would be unbelievable. But it's just really neat to stop and take a look at it and, you know, just realize how much effort it would take on a part of a, you know, a family of beavers to do what they do. coming down the drainage not far past the beaver lodge and I looked up on the side hill and I saw a dark spot so I pulled my glasses out and looked at it and it's definitely a bison so I got to get the scope on him before he goes up over the top assuming that it's a bull and I think he's gone well he's still there So it's exciting to see the first bison of the hunt it happened to be a big lone bull, which is exactly what I'm looking for. He's in a really challenging place. He's moved up out of the valleys and just looking for exposed grass. And that's kind of what I expect this time of year now. I think that we could continue on and look down the valley because there's a lot of bison in this country and I want to be able to pick out the best bull that I can find. And I don't expect that he'll go very far. So if we sneak past him, I could probably come back to him later and um, not disturb him that much. So this bull is, he's heavy horned, he's light. So all the indications are that he's a great bull. Uh, he's blonde hump, you know, solid, solid bases coming out of his head. You know, he's light horned and then he's not that dark, dark horned of, you know, a younger bull. So he's the kind of bull that we're looking for.
lot of tracks up there. So a few hours ago, that bull walked out of sight and I've been looking around for him. Actually, I went down the valley to see if there is a way to go up toward him from behind and that doesn't look like it. So we came back and I climbed the hill to try to figure out where he was. And he actually walked out of sight and came, dropped into a little drainage and back around and now he's bedded down. He's a bull that we want to go after, but he's in a tough spot. The snow is so deep and he's a long way up that hill. <laughs> Walking away because of the work is not something that we've ever done, so we're not gonna start now. One of the things that's overlooked in a big way in the winter time is hydration. And drinking is one of the last things you think of because often you're drinking cold, cold water. To go past an open creek and not fill up is a big mistake. So we're gonna get some water so we don't have to melt snow later. And that'll help us for cooking and just rehydrating after a long day. It's quarter after five. We are losing daylight this time of year. We still have enough to get it done as far as get up there and have an opportunity at a shot. Definitely there's no way we're getting it off the mountain tonight if we're able to do it. <laughs> so we just gotta get, uh, get moving and that bull is probably gonna stand up any minute and start feeding again. So yeah, we gotta get rolling. The depth of the snow, we're definitely gonna need snowshoes in order to, to get up there. Climbing hill and cat gut snowshoes is never the best, but the snow is just so deep and there's no other choice. Probably about 700 yards. I can't see him. We're gonna have to get quite a ways up there. The snow's deep. It's slow moving for sure. So I've got him. Yeah, hey, probably 500 yards, or maybe even a little bit less, but I just have the top of his hump. I probably have to make some more distance and a little bit more elevation, and that'll be perfect. <laughs> this is awesome. This is very exciting. This is what it's about right here. He's putting in the effort, and he's right there but we don't have them yet. I do just love watching them. Let's keep going.
gotta go. Are you ready? We gotta go. He's, he's walking that way. 